Alright, beloved, I want to deal with this subject uh, briefly. I've already touched on it, but y'all love branch knowledge, you know, so much. You want to call yourself this, that, and the other. When you call yourself this, that, and the other, you're defining yourself. When you define yourself, you you limit yourself to that definition, my beloved. But this is what I want to talk to you about, you know. They talk about the different um, African religions and and the various schools of thought, and particularly when you get off into the the manifestation of power or magic, as some may call it, wizardry, witchcraft, so far, divination, and many names. But there is no power but God. And this is the King James Buddha. And the King James voodoo corresponds with the Egyptian voodoo because that's where your Bible is derived from. You cannot be in a depth, my beloved, and not come forth from the truth. I said the truth that is found in Kevin. So again, you have eyes, but you see that you have a mind that you comprehend not, you have ears that you hear not. Everything I say to you can be overstood on a multitude of levels, my beloved. When I tell you to do something, well, you hear me talking about something, you'd be wise to look into it. But anyway, when we talk about the feminine and the masculine principle. We could talk about our saw and our set. We could talk about Oshun and Ogun. We could talk about Hathor and, and Jab. We could just say the yang and the yang. And we say that this God differs from that God and blah, blah, blah. Again, I say to you that there are only two nations, my beloved. And that's the masculine and the feminine. And it's these two natures, amen that manifests everything in the known universe, in the known world universe pit. So we talk about the care. You got the two forces within the chaos itself. It is the undifferentiated potentiality of all that is and all that should ever be. It is a manifestation of what is. And so I tell you all the time, don't get caught up, man. This, that, and the other, but get to the source, get to the core. And, and, and oftentimes when you hear me talking about my power, I'm talking about the powers of darkness. You see. See, I know if you're spiritual or not, and, and, and if you're dealing with source, if you're dealing with brain. So you have to know your art. See, the Bible says, if any man honors not his mother and father, he has denied the faith. Worse than the infidel, he is worthy of death. If any man honors not his mother and father, so you got to know your source. And I know mine. Therefore, the scriptures say, even the darkness shall be light about thee. You see, I go down into the abyss. 
I go into that darkness, my beloved, because I come forth from the darkness, from the chaos. I remember, my beloved, though I've been here for hundreds and thousands of years, I have ancient memory, you know, that continually permeates my mind, those things that, that are embedded within this, this soul that I'm able to, to, to draw from and to pull from. And I know many of you say, well, he talks about the devil. Isn't that evil? Did, and, and, I, and I keep stressing to you, and I have stressed to you, the significance of God creating the light as well as the darkness. And, and, and take note that I said the light first. So what preceded the light? My beloved. And so when you see when you see Norma, the civilized or Norma, you see him before the deep, the abyss, and you see the horns of the of the sacred cow, that's Hathor, that's feminine energy. My beloved. And when you see Norma holding his cup, you see him holding it parallel and perpendicular to his phallus. Do you see? That he represents the masculine energy in prom. And when you see the souls deep within the abyss, That symbolizes his will being done in earth as it is in the heaven of his own mind. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. And, and you see that those souls are different. The appearance of those souls beneath him in the abyss cast into the darkness appear different from he himself. And I say to you all the time, this is not our first role, oh my beloved. No men of you are asleep. And many of the, the, the children of God, the voices of silence, we need not all be known. All of us have not the same vision. All of us have not the same audacity. All of us have not the same power. But God giveth unto every man his town. And I just so happen to have many over here, but to whom much is given, much is required. And so I, 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 I admonish you all out here to stop defining yourself when you come forth from the I am. Did you hear what I said? I said you come forth from the I am. So why are you defining yourself? You see, once you get off into the truth, you will obtain more truth. To him that has more shall be given. And I, and, I, and I tell you, you really don't know. Even though it's all about you in plain sight, you don't know who's in control. Oh, that's a bitter pill for us to, to, to swallow by way of, of, of carnality. But those who truly know God and understand the process and, and what's going on, what's the purpose of it all, we rejoice. And we are glad in him for counting us worthy to manifest his glory. And so, my beloved, those of you who are caught up in the branch of Christian, you need to go a little further, my brother. You really need to, 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 to get to the gist, to the meat 
or what King James was telling you. King James is your brother. King James was a master of cult. Yes, he was. And that book is coded. You break them seals. When you go to Egypt and you look upon the, 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 the walls and the bas reliefs and so forth and so on, the, the artifacts, the hieroglyphs, it's coded, but the truth is there in plain sight if you know how to read. And so I thank God again for counting us with and counting me with my beloved is going down. Whether you are ready or not, I said it's going down, it's going down right now. And I'm going to say to you again, once you Come into the knowledge of truth. If thou art worthy, if thou art the elect of God, we are the power. I told you to look at all the artifacts that I left you. I'm the high priest, former high priest of the 18 days. I left you a multitude of artifacts that our enemy has confiscated and put in his museums all throughout the world. You can access those artifacts. All you need to do is look and allow God to open up your, your mind. I, many of you were there with me because I am the angel of days and, 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 and beloved, so are you. Once you come into Knowledge of self. You'll realize the validity of what I'm saying to you. And so, I'm just admonish you again to come out of all of these isms, all of these, 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 these schisms here and there, and grab hold of the truth. Grass hole of the dark. My name is I am. And I am the voice of God.